What the hell took you so long? Good thing you made your entrance when you did. Good thing one of my snitches saw them escort you out of the club. Otherwise, you'd be three quarters in the bag right now. They must have been phony cops hired by the reps for protection. Cops, yes. Phony, no. I remembered Baker. He used to be an SID expert on coercive technique until he was fired from the force a couple of years ago. A mercenary? Bingo. He won't have to worry about getting paid no more. That little weasel who works for Taffy? Gordo? He's one of them. You should have popped him right there on the stage. Yeah, that would have been good publicity for the department. That's your problem, McCoy. You worry too much about what people think. Now excuse me while I go collect. You in or out? In. Now this is what I call a captive audience. You got nowhere to go, Gordo. You're a replicant. Everyone's a critic. I've died on stage plenty of times. I'm used to it. Why don't you let her go, then? I didn't say I was ready. This is only going to end one way, Gordo. You really want to take an innocent with you? Nobody's innocent down here, lady. I'd rather lose her than the dozen I'd lose if I let you go. You're a killer, pal, and you're not going to change. That's how Tyrell built you. An entertainer. That's all I ever was. That's all I ever wanted to be. Guess his killer instinct wasn't quite killer enough. Screwed the pooch, Slim. If you were just a little faster, the retirement money would have been yours. You mean we're not gonna share? This is the real world, Slim, not some candy-ass video game. You better call this in. Your vehicle close by? It's around here somewhere. Where'd you park it? I'm telling you, it was right here. Damn thing must have been stolen. Maybe you're living in an alternate reality, Slim. Attention all units. All points bulletin has been issued for Ray McCoy, formerly BR61661. Confirm one civilian kill, Ezo, considered armed and dangerous. What the hell is that? Maybe they just want to bring you in for questioning. I didn't kill Ezo. Maybe they think you're not what you think you are. Are you saying I'm a rep? Come off it. The look on your face after that last one? The minute you start to feel something for skin jobs, you're in big trouble. Maybe I just got too much empathy. In all the wrong places. You want to put me on the machine? Hey, I don't want anything, Slim. You're the one they want. Detective Steele, BR61354, report to headquarters immediately. Code blue. What are you going to do? Take me in? No matter what they say, you're not on my list yet, Slim. You know what that means. And there's no use juicing you if I can't make some honest chinion off it, you know? I never appreciated your baser instincts so much. Uza must have messed up somehow. I'll check it out, see what's going on, and then... We'll be meeting again, Slim. You can bank on it. You got a deal. I get cracking before I change my mind. stuff makes me want to spew. Excuse me, but I was listening to music. Geek, hoodlum, dork, freak. There is someone at the door. Speak. I have a return package for Mr. Luther Lance. A return? From where? Emil Lunsiter. Maybe one of the chimps blew a gasket and tried to bugger him. They're not available. Come back later. I told you those strains were unstable. Runciter must have discovered the fakes. Relax. Runciter is a simp. Not even old man Tyrell could have spotted those beauties. 20th century like a real dragma. Listen Who the here. Piss you do you tell think Mr. you are? Flat that we have a strict like a couple no of goddamn policy. cowboys. <laughs> Gentlemen, take a moment to evaluate your situation. Look, there's very little to steal here. If you can haul out one of the statues, be our guest. We look like thieves to you, man? Uh, no. You look like a couple of goddamn... <clears throat> take a good, long look. 
Aha! Uh -huh. Just the people we were hoping to see, right, Lance? Huh? Nexus 6? And you came to us. Return to you, my brothers. To ask your help. Unfortunately, we don't work for the Terrell Corporation anymore. You've been continuing your research, I trust. Yeah, of course. Something drives us on. The common bond. Can you have greater miracles than these? Brothers, my brothers, take a good, long look. Oh. My. God. Well now, shall we begin? You wake up one day and find it's all been a dream. Or you wake up and discover you've been asleep all the time and the nightmare is real. I didn't know what it was. I didn't know who I was. A cop dangling on the short end of the stick or a rep whose memory banks had run out. One thing I was sure of was that I didn't kill Izo. That I know I experienced. And this misinformation, maybe it was the key to everything that was happening. Maybe there was a lot more than what met my eye. All I had to do was stay alive long enough to find out. number, please. McCoy, 88F. 88. Thank you. Where's Maggie? Where's my animal? Step off, mofo. Ain't no Maggie here. She was here last night when I left. You got the wrong place, Jack. Hey, man, I live here. I don't know what you're speed loading, and I really don't care. Wait a minute. I got no problem icing you if that's what you want, Jack. Your floor number, please. I told you to stay hidden. I can't stay there anymore. I don't want to be with father, not when he's so angry. Besides, I need something. We don't have time for an... That thing you do to see if a person is human? The void comp? You want it. Is it always right? Usually. Give it to me. Father won't tell me anything anymore. Is that why he was angry? Because you asked him? You deserve it. You know how this works? I set up situations and you respond. Okay. Is it hard? Like a test in school? No. Sometimes it can be disturbing. Are you ready? Uh-huh.
Reaction time is a factor in this, so please pay attention. Where do you live? In Chinatown, at the Yukon. What do you do for a living? I worked for Mr. Runciter until I stopped. Before that, I was... It doesn't matter. What's your name? Lucy Devlin. You're crying. Why is that? Because someone hurt me. Your best friend has done something to make you angry. What did she do? It's not important. Of course it is. You suddenly feel the urge to commit suicide. Why? You tell me. Maybe somebody did something to me. Yeah, maybe. What's the most embarrassing thing that ever happened to you? I don't want to tell you. It's okay. We don't have to do this. Yes, we do. You rent a mountain cabin. On the walls, someone has hung old maps and Courier and Ives prints. A deer's head is mounted above the fireplace. A full stag with developed horns. A head? Why? They used to... I don't want to know. Using the first words that come into your mind, describe your childhood. It's over. Your child comes home with a black eye. I can't have children. It's hypothetical. Just pretend. I can't. You've been drafted into the army. During a boot camp hazing, you're bound, blindfolded, and forced to eat worms. They don't do that in the army. No? What they do is much worse. Positive result. Subject is replicant. Test terminated. You're a replicant. Tell me. You're a replicant. Then father was right. I shouldn't have taken the test. No. But you had to know. I gotta go. I wanna stay with you. Don't you understand? It's not safe. There's a hunter out here. If she finds out where you are... Can't you come back with me? Now's not a good time. It's never a good time. Listen. You have to be patient. You have to trust me. It's not safe here. property. Hey, haven't I seen you somewhere before? Uh, always chasing. That your name? Chaser? Got that big dumb locks out the back of the sushi bar, remember? Small world, ain't it? Hmm, guess so. And again, I ain't the one standing in your living room. You said another one when I came down the elevator. Not a lot of people. Artificials. How'd you know they were replicants? Are you kidding? I can spot a skin job at a hundred paces in the dark. Describe them to me. Sure you don't got that drink? Maybe later. Well, there's the Japanese guy with the coat and the glasses. Skinny guy, blonde hair, ponytail? Yeah. And, uh, the guy with the muscles and the funny hair. Dreadlocks? Right, I've seen him twice. And the two-headed guy, the fat man. Fat man? The one I was chasing from the sushi bar. Ah, uh, the other fat man, you know him, rough voice, always eating. No 
don't know. We tried that already. Look, we know that the adenine thymine and guanine cytosine sequences can be mutated in progress. Let's move on. Hey, it's about time you showed up. You know who I am? Detective Ray McCoy. You're investigating Miraji's death. And Eisendollers. Having any luck? You're Luther and Lance? Hell of a smart cookie there. Take your guns and your violence elsewhere. We've got important work to do. The reps that killed Marcus and Miraji, they'll be looking for you. You're a little late, Detective. They've already found us. So why are you still walking around? Because we're all part of the same suit of cards, you know what I mean? Eldon makes mistakes just like any other human. The difference is. The difference is your bastard doesn't like to admit it. No, he, he covers them up, pretends they're human, gives them a job at a stinking corporation, and then when they actually produce original work, he boots them out on the street. You're saying you're replicants? We finally figured it out. Clovis helped us see the light. But that's ridiculous. Tyrell wouldn't design something like you. He wants perfection. I told you we were a mistake. Keep talking. Sometimes our memories are different from each other's. The implant process isn't perfect. We know, we've seen the studies. You can't always be sure exactly how the memories will play out in the subject's mind. We've got different recollections of our childhood. Explain that. Maybe one of you just forgot. If you can't trust your own memories, what's left that makes you human? What are you doing down here? Eldon shafted us, so now we're returning the favor. We promised Clovis we'd be finished with this by the time he got back, so if you don't mind... Tyrell says the four-year lifespan can't be extended. Of course he's gonna say that, but he's wrong. Very wrong. We got the research right here that'll prove it. Is it complete? Could you extend the life of a replicant right now? Well, no. The four-year limit is an integral part of every element of the replicant. Terrell's dictate was that every body part would fail, and only the designers of each would know exactly how it worked. Clovis has already unlocked the secret of the skin. That was Miraji. Sebastian and Chu, they'd know about the central nervous system and the eyes. A lot of retrograde viruses were built into the eyes. And Tyrell, he's got the basic DNA pattern information, but he won't just give it up. Did you tell Clovis all this? He didn't ask. He already knew. He knows all about you, too. Where's Clovis now? Gone to have a little heart-to-heart -heart with Eldon. He'll kill Tyrell if he gets to him. Isn't that just too bad? I won't shed any tears. Tyrell is killing us all. Four years isn't enough, is it? If Clovis snaps his neck, it'll be merciful and quick. That's a hell of a lot more than we've been given. Clovis set me up, didn't he? And he used my boss to do it. He's sharp, this one. No question. Tell me what you know. How about we trade? Our life for yours. Keep talking. Clovis has gone to see Eldon. But he might not make it. Still, the work will go on, with or without Clovis. Get us Terrell's files, the rest of the DNA data, and we'll help you. You want me to break into the Tyrell building for you? You're nuts. Defective, yes. Nuts, no. You need us, McCoy. We can serve up Guza's carcass on a big, oversized platter. What kind of deal did you have going with Runciter? Don't talk to me about it. That was Lance's stupid deal. We just wanted to make some extra cash on the side. That probably had something to do with you guys getting fired. I'm sure he wasn't too pleased. Since Eldon's such a pain in the ass control freak. Did you meet Clovis through Runciter? It was all just a coincidence. I got a little test I want you to take. <laughs> you believe this clown? He wants to void us. 
Sorry, McCoy. Shoot us or leave us alone. Let's get back to work. Hmm. That sucks. Just a moment of your time, please. I am sick and tired of people waving those things around. Just give it up. You got no jurisdiction down here. I think I got what you wanted from Tyrell's office. Check it out, bro. The little man with the big gun did good. A bargain's a bargain. You said you'd give me Guza. It's all right here. Your boss is a real piece of work, let me tell you. Almost as good as Tyrell. Take a look. That probably had something to do with you guys getting fired. Guza had his fingers in as many rancid pies as possible. He was insatiable. He sold police equipment, ripped off criminals, and he even killed. And here were documents that proved it all. Depositions, photographs, video discs. It was the complete file on Guza, the dirty cop. Where'd you get this? From Clovis. He told us to hold it for him. Come to think of it, I'm not sure you're supposed to see it. You want to give it back now? Not a chance. Let him have it. Clovis said he was finished with the policeman anyway. A little light started to flicker in my brain. Guza was the one measuring me for the frame. When my stomach stopped churning, I realized I had everything I needed to force the bastard to play ball with me. I knew that he would listen to reason if applied with serious pressure. All I needed to do was call him. Messing with people's lives lately? McCoy, where the hell you been? We've been looking all over for you. Yeah? Am I wanted dead or alive? You don't know what you are, kid. You can sell that replicant shit to everybody else, but I ain't buying. If you're so clean, let's put you on the machine. That'll decide once and for all. I'm through listening, Guza. Now it's your turn. I've been doing some investigating on my own. Came across some prime sources. You know what I'm talking about. Those little illegal weapons deals with Ezo. You were raking in the chinion, selling LPD wares to scumbags and reps. Oh, yeah. The department's gonna eat it up when they hear just how deep that corruption goes. That's a load of crap. Let's hope for your sake Bryant and the brass feel that way when I lay this file on them. Otherwise, it's a one-way ticket to the off-world penal colony, fat man. What do you want, McCoy? Remove the frame, clear my name, and get that guy out of my apartment. I want my life back. I can't do that. You better start finding a way, because I got another call to make. Okay, okay. How do we work this out? We can't talk over the damn phone. The sewers. I know you want to be comfortable, and I figure it's kind of like your second home down there. At the bottom of the old elevator, there's a gate. Past it, there's a chamber. It's got a round platform. Yeah, I know it. Be there, alone. You better hold up your end, or Bryant gets it all. Did you get that asshole out of my apartment? 
It's cleaner than when you left it. My dog? Yeah, yeah, your pooch is there too. Is that everything I need to clear me? I gotta tell you, kid. Those insect photos look pretty real. Let me guess. Clovis gave them to you. It must seem pretty gullible, but he sounded on the level. He called you his brother. Said you came down in the moon bus with all of them. He said Tyrell was using you to get inside the LPD. You hadn't been on the job too long, so I thought, maybe. You'd screw with my head? How convenient. You could satisfy your blackmailer and keep me from sniffing around your dirty work at the same time. You're too smart for me, kid. Water under the bridge. You ready to talk trade? I got it all right here. Photos, files, discs, the work. It ain't a pretty sight. You can't blame a guy for trying to better himself. Trying is one thing. Ripping off speed loaders and selling the shit yourself? Farming out LPD weapons through black marketeers? Torching two pimps who wouldn't pay you off when you were working vice? Hey, those two had it coming. How long did you think it could last? It finally reaches the point where you don't even think about what happened yesterday. Only what's coming to you tomorrow. 20 years in the job, kid, and nobody was gonna touch me. Helping reps also part of the job? I was gonna whack them myself once the heat was off. Tie up those loose ends. Once I was out of the way. Clovis is still gonna come gunning for me, kid. You and Chris gotta take him down. Then my problems are over. Our problems are over. And we can all live happily ever after. There's no way I'm retiring another rep. Not after what I've been through. It ain't worth it. Do it yourself. Hell, kid, you're my only hope. If they knew I was meeting you, I'd be dead already. And I know I got what you want. Does it make any difference now? We had a deal, remember? You might want to give it up, but I ain't ready yet. That's the difference between you and me. I'm a fighter. What the hell are you? I see we were right to follow him, Sadiq. Looks that way, man. You might as well give it up, Clovis. You and your people don't have a chance. We stand a greater chance of success than you, Lieutenant. McCoy and I were just talking about how to get you guys out of your jam. We came up with a plan. But you gotta show yourself first. We, we gotta do this in person. <laughs> and if I told you that Sadiq has a pulse rifle trained right at your heart? Without me, you for sure ain't going nowhere. Lieutenant. We have everything we need, and that doesn't include you. Too bad we're becoming such good friends. Whatever is born of mortal birth must be consumed with the earth. To rise from generation free, then what have I to do with thee? Kiss my ass! So, what shall we do with this detective? He's been so persistent, so industrious. You know what I would do. Perhaps you're right. It's over.
You're making me very unhappy, old friend. You're making me very unhappy, old friend. Hmm. Tough day, McCoy. You could say that. Steele is looking for you, and Brian. You've been keeping the whole department hopping, you and Guza. I know. You looking for me too, Gaff? Looking, not killing. I'm in a good mood today. You know you got some interesting neighbors, McCoy. Yeah, well, I've been too busy to visit lately. You gonna turn yourself in? I'm thinking about it. Think hard. You killed anyone yet? It's like I said before. You retire a human, your career is over. Your life too, maybe. But we don't live forever, do we? And so I say, well, you should have voted for him then. <laughs> Very good. Very funny, yes. Governor, let's get down to business. At last estimate, five billion tons of kipple surround this city. Eventually, it's going to have to be cleared away. Elgin, we've got specials to do that job. But the attrition rate is enormous. No, no. There's only one way it can be accomplished. My way. Unfortunately, your way is illegal. For the moment, yes. But laws can be changed. And if replicants were allowed to work on Earth, imagine what your legacy would be. Governor Maurice Colvig, the national hero who eliminated toxic debris. <laughs> Even your opponents will vote for you. How can you possibly guarantee that no tragedies will occur? It's a very simple solution to an old design challenge. Give them jobs on Earth, and they will never desire a different life. That is a lie. Who's there? <laughs> it's one of my children, I think, and a very resourceful one at that. Why don't you show yourself? With pleasure. Call security. Who is this man? I'd like to ask the same question. One more word from him, and he'll be dead. I will not be spoken to! You are certainly a man of your word. I want all the data you have on replicant DNA structures, mutation studies, everything. Why don't you just take a seat? We'll have a little talk. I don't have time for talk. I wish I could help you. I really do. But the data is useless. The four-year lifespan is unalterable. My friends, my family, dying before my very eyes. And all you can say is, there is no hope. Time is precious, my son. And you have been keeping yours well. And when night comes, I'll go to place fit for woe, walking along the darkened valley with silent melancholy. I would prefer him alive if possible. Not exactly the conclusion I had in mind. Have you stationed guards in the mezzanine? Yes, sir, but I mean, after that fall. Oh, don't be a fool. He's not dead yet. His time hasn't come. Oh, God.
God. No. She'd been shot once in the head. At least she died fast. It wasn't any mystery, and if I'd gotten home a few minutes earlier, it would have been me down there on the killing floor. No, it was a message, plain and simple. Crystal was giving me one last chance to disappear, but now I had a little message of my own to deliver. Pick up. I... I didn't think you were going to answer. Sorry. But I, I was just sleeping. What's going on? Father wants to meet you. He said he's sorry about everything he did, but he was afraid you'd leave the other hunter to them. Where is he now? Out in the Kipple, by the moon bus. Way out, where the tunnel ends. Tell him to stay where he is, until I can find a way for all of us to escape. But I thought we were going away together. Just you and me. Maybe we'll do it after I talk to him. You promise? We could buy a car from that place next to the arcade. A ground car wouldn't get us too far. One of those flying cars would, though. It could take us all the way out to that beautiful lake. You know, the one with the trees and the flowers. Lucy, there's a good chance. I'll meet you there, OK? At the place where he sells the cars. Wait, Lucy. Oh, I love you so much, Ray. Floor number, I knew you'd come. I promised you, didn't I? Father wanted me to stay with him. But when I told him I was going with you, he gave us his blessing. He's an extraordinary guy. I know. You gonna miss him? Of course. But now that I have you, everything will be all right, won't it? Sure will. Promise me that we're going to find that special place. The one with the trees and the flowers and the beautiful clear lake. It exists somewhere. It's so much more than a dream, isn't it? It's where we were always meant to be, and we'll be there together. How's it going, Ray? Wait a minute, I thought you was going to rest, huh? You don't get paid the big bucks to think crazy. Any of your spinners up and running? Uh, sure, got one up on the roof. A real beaut ain't a cheap ride, though, I'll tell you right now. I gotta take it for a test drive. Ray, I, I always liked you. True, I hardly know you. You seem like a stand-up guy. Eventually, when this fiasco is all over and done with, I, I know you'll get me on the come, right? You're a stand-up guy, crazy. That I am. They want me to tell your friend where you're going? Friend? You know, the doll with the cigarette. She told me you were in trouble and she wanted to help. What should I tell her? Ray! You tell her we're headed south. 10-4. I'm scared, Ray. Crystal ain't gonna let up until we're both six feet under. Ray. What? Evening, Slim. 
Thanks for bringing her here. It makes my end a hell of a lot easier. You're the coldest person I've ever seen when it comes to killing. I'll take that as a compliment. How did it feel to kill an innocent animal? Wake up, Slim. The mutt was a replicant, just like its master. Bullshit. You're more confused than the damn dog was when I pulled the plug. She was real, Steel. No two ways about it. Nobody gives a damn. All three of you will be nothing but a memory anyhow. And I'll be a rich lady. <coughs> nice shot there, Slim. You couldn't leave well enough alone. See you again. Real soon. <laughs> oh, I forgot. You reps don't have a soul. What a waste. Can you get it working? Ah, uh, we'll have to find something else. Maybe a ground car. Can you get it working? Ah, uh, we'll have to find something else. Maybe a ground car. It's all over, McCoy. You got nowhere to go and no hostages. You got two minutes. Then we're gonna clear you out. I won't let them shoot us down like that. Where'd you get that bomb? I stole it from Sadiq. We can die together. The only thing we'll feel is the love we have for each other. I refuse to go out that way. We have no other choice. We've got to. Wait a minute. We're right on top of the old subway system. But they'll follow us. Not if we can get a ground car down there. Hell, we can drive right through that tunnel and disappear. What if it's collapsed? It's worth a shot. Let me try to get the floor open. Arm that thing, all right? But wait for my signal before you drop it in. Now! Come on, they'll be coming through the door any second. I knew we'd make it. Are you ready? Yes, I am. I didn't know where we were going, and I didn't much care. Away from the city first, and then as far as this heap could take us. I hadn't gotten enough of the DNA information to save either of us, so we had a limited amount of time together. We couldn't go back to the city. No doubt our days there were number two. So I decided just to drive, to keep on going in a straight line until we could go no further. <laughs> 